one essential item that every band needs is merch because you're going to sell it either at your concerts or online. But sometimes it can be pretty challenging if not everyone has master design skills and can use something like Photoshop. Well, this isn't a problem anymore because you're going to use Kittle to make your merch design and we're going to make a design together for a tour shirt as well as a tote bag and stickers and I'll show you how to do all of that right now in Kittle. All right, the first thing up is gonna be the band logo we're gonna put together with adding type. Now you may already have your band logo in which you can just fast forward to the actual t-shirt and other merch design. You can find those down in the chapters here. But the band logo we're putting together is for a band called Meltdown Symphony. And right now I'm just going through different fonts that I think would fit. This one's a little too hardcore metal, but we have a whole bunch of different fonts that I think could fit this kind of alternative rock or hard rock vibe so we're gonna look for one like this one which is still pretty wonky but together enough to make sense also kind of looks like it's melting so it's kind of a play on the words here now for symphony these two words kind of don't go together right it's a super high contrast between meltdown and the word symphony so I'm gonna find like a really refined script looking font for this so we have the kind of juxtaposition of a really intense kind of rocky wild vibe along with a more refined style so now we have a meltdown symphony we have something to start working with here and I want this to kind of be looking like it's a little bit more of a hand drawn effect by using these rise transformations over on the right uh, in the transformation settings and you can also just reset them and, and manipulate them as much as you would like with all the little nodes now what I think would be kind of cool is if melt and down were on different lines kind of like this looks like a stepping effect so I'm separating melt and down here which by the way you can copy by holding the alter option key and dragging quickly and so now we have melt down and symphony and more of this kind of three-tiered stepped effect which I think is also going to look really nice for stickers and other parts of merch design. And so now we have a good basis for our logo here for Meltdown Symphony. So what we're going to do is adjust our artboard size so that it is only the size of this logo. We don't need all this extra space. So here in the settings panel, you can easily just change the size of your artboard here. And what I'm going to do to make things a lot easier on us, as opposed to just copying this, I'm going to actually download an SVG and open it in another project so here is our t-shirt size we're gonna be using and what we need to do is go ahead and upload that SVG so we just exported it now we just need to find it right here the SVG and upload it and now it's one piece still vector still scalable so I can easily up upscale it just like this and it's super easy to use now we need our band photo because for our t-shirt design the bulk of this video we're going to be using actual band members and so here's our photo of three chaps that are in the band here and so what we're going to try to do is make a really kind of grungy stencily looking effect and we can achieve that with our brand new image vectorizer with color we had the image vectorizer but now we have color options which you can use from 1 to 16 colors that's a lot of colors so what we're gonna do is try with two colors to get a kind of grunged hand traced looking effect kind of like you would on a stencil kind of streetwear style now this isn't gonna work super well because it's hard to see the details in the face if I start changing colors around we're still washing out like a lot of details that I think are necessary for a t-shirt especially for you know selling merch at a concert so let's try again let's go three colors and already you can tell a lot more detail is here in the face right you can see the detail of where the eyes are and the beard and all of this different stuff so now we have three different color channels we can play with to get a style or a vibe that we want and we can also take color styles away so I can just completely erase that now I know that looks weird but if I select the entire background color I can now change it to the actual shirt color that I want it to be. So I've, t I've taken away uh, this color from the image itself because it's all vector now. Remember that, it's all vector. And so when I change the background, it becomes the color of the shirt I want. So something like this, kind of muddy, greeny, brown, looks kind of cool, along with the orange. I think that's really nice and contrasty, very streetwear-y, very fitting for this kind of band style. 
Now, we don't need such harsh corners for this photo, so we don't want it to look like a photo effect. So we're gonna find a mask, and we have some grungy, kind of torn-looking masks down towards the bottom, like this one right here. So if I size this up, you can tell, you can see there's all this kind of ripped-looking, torn pieces. So we're gonna fit this image inside of this mask. Now, don't worry if it's not the same exact size, because all we have to do is hold shift and we can drag it up and it will become the entire size of this photo. So I'm just holding shift and now it's the size of the photo that we want. So I can right click, I can send this to the back. I'm gonna drag the photo inside of the mask. So you see that right there, it's applying. All you have to do is drag it inside of the mask and now it has a color by default in the background. We just need to grab that color and turn it off. So the masks all have a color by background, uh, by default. So we just turned that off. We just turned the mask, mask color off and now we're good to go. Real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and that red subscribe button so you don't miss any other tutorials. And then let me know down in the comments, are you designing merch for a band or are you part of a band yourself and you were looking for a solution on how to make band merchandising? We'd love to know. So go ahead and comment below and let's get back to the tutorial. So we're gonna use some of these grungy block shapes here. And so we don't make any mistakes. I'm gonna grab the image. I'm gonna go over here and lock it. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace the name here. So we know that's the photo because if I start dragging stuff on top, it'll apply and I don't want that. So I just locked it. So now you can't affect the photo. And what I'm gonna do with these grungy blocks here is pick a the lighter kind of grayish tan color and I want to make like a, a, a taped effect like a tape strips effect like this image has been taped up on the, your t-shirt or a poster or whatever you're gonna make we're kind of giving this like hard rock band uh, taped ripped effect which I think is very you know is very common depending on what kind of music you're listening to so now what we're gonna do is take some more of these grungy blocks here these shapes and I'm gonna put the band tour information here so with the big orange one that's gonna be kind of our tour name and then I'm gonna copy one of these little ones and I'm gonna put it down here and we're gonna put the date so this is a specific tour and this is going to be in a much more condensed font I'm gonna use this North Road font right here which is a nice Nice grungy kind of wobbly sans serif font it's nice and condensed so it's gonna be easy to read and this is gonna be the American tour for this band again if you're uh, you know if you're making merch for a band just replace this with the correct information I'm just kind of showing you general layout for how you can do this and then to kind of play on the logo which has a wonky font and a you know refined font I'm gonna choose that same script for the word the so now I have the American tour and it still kind of fits with the actual logo itself so this could be a really cool campaign logo like a sub logo for the band here that you can play with so I'm gonna put that right here and do a little bit of adjusting so that this all fits nicely duplicate that text and I'm gonna put 2023 here on the lighter uh, gray tan area and then just do a little bit of tweaking to make sure everything is nice and refined what I'm gonna do is duplicate this I click the cog wheel and duplicate this because we need to work on the back of the t-shirt so this is the front of the t-shirt but now we have a copy so now you see I've opened up the copy and we have all of our elements and stuff to work with so I don't need to go and duplicate them and, and, and move a bunch of stuff left and right so now I can just get rid of the stuff I don't want okay so I'm gonna get rid of all of the stuff that I don't want I'm gonna move up the logo here I'm gonna move up the tour information and this is gonna be the back of our shirt where we're gonna put all of the cities that this band is going to play at. I'm going to use that same condensed North Road font. Now, there are so many different ways that you could format the back of a band tour shirt. I have seen it with dates. I have seen it without dates, which is what I'm doing here. I'm just going to show you all of the cities because, you know, typically there's going to be, you know, information online, ticket sales, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go with something a little bit more basic, just showing two columns of all of the full tour cities that are going to be available but you could easily adapt this to whatever kind of information you need on the back whether or not you need times whether you need dates whether you have more content less content whatever you want and to fill out the bottom I'm gonna put a tagline here for the band here today gone tomorrow and sign it off with a couple of X's down here it's kind of just a little bit more rock street wary style okay so now we have the back of our t-shirt here 
and we can download it in a variety of different ways. Uh, we can remove the background, of course, which we're gonna wanna do to print on a shirt. You can increase your sizing and DPI here if you need to. You can also see what the export size is gonna be. Now, this is gonna be dependent on your printer, uh, what you're going to use, whether it's a PDF or a full-on SVG. But you can see here is a mock-up of our completed uh, t-shirt design. Super, super easy to do. And you can see how it's coming through on that shirt color really, really nicely. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make a tote bag. So all bands probably have more than just shirts. They have merch. And tote bags are generally white or tan. And so now you can see this is kind of blown out. It doesn't really work super well. So this is gonna take a little bit of work if you are using an image and you're turning it into vector and you're kind of trying to make the background be the full real color. It's gonna take a little bit of tweaking. You could make an alternative design for light and dark backgrounds, um, but I would suggest kind of just changing all of the different colors so that it makes sense on something light like a tote bag or maybe you also have a white t-shirt style uh, you might want to go with a different design style or, or also tweak the colors to make sense that way you know we could do it like this where it's completely inverted but I feel like in this instance, we lose a little bit of detail. So it's just gonna take a little bit of tweaking here. Um, again, everything is kind of grungy in this rock specific niche. So again, think about the niche of your brand, uh, band and make sure that it makes sense. I think this is gonna work fine on a tote bag style. And what we can do to test that is just go up here to the background color swatch, click it, and I'm just gonna turn it off and boom, we have a mock-up here of what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good. We could have even turned the gray to that kind of tannish color uh, to see what it looks like. Just do some testing and see what works. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is make a sticker design. All bands are definitely gonna have a sticker design. So I've just copied the logo here and put it in this artboard. And what we're gonna do is add a border weight to this to give it that nice sticker, kiss cut sticker effect here, okay? But what I'm gonna do is invert this. So I want the stroke, the outside weight to be orange and I want the inside to be white or again, whatever color you want. Now we have some bits and pieces here in the middle, uh, which are you know not being completed by the stroke. So all we're gonna do is pick some little pieces like circles and squares to fill it in. So for example, I'll make all these orange and send them to the back. And that fills this space very easily for the sticker. Now I can remove the background and I'm ready to download, which you can also do by going to download. You can remove the background by clicking that over. That's available in the pro and expert plan. And now you have a series of different formats for you to print. And here is all of our merch design that you saw in this video completed, all done in Kittle, ready to go. Super easy to do. I'm excited to hear your thoughts and let me know what other kind of band merch or other tutorials you want to see. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.